Hello, I am currently studying historical events and issues and I am going to uh, begin my research on the information starting with a Google format. Uh, sometimes I'll go through the Internet Explorer and I'll see if Google will immediately come up right away if I'm not using my own computer. Okay, so now I'm going in to recapture and attempt to gain my connection with Google. The reason that I've chosen a historical event or issues right now is related to the situation in the Middle East with ISIS. I uh, specialize on research with certain elements um, using .org, .gov, state.gov, and .net, and at other times I will use other resources as well, but I try to stay away from the .coms because a lot of times the information isn't as accurate through those sites. Other times there are problems with the recatch or redirects, the loops that comes through the internet. Uh, trying to get you to look at other products, other services. Right now I'm looking at some of the screen information that is on here, looking at some of the resources to see where they've come from. I do not completely rely or depend on Wikipedia. There have been many times that um, I have found that there were problems with the information in Wikipedia that let's just say was not exactly correct I am continuing to look I am not looking for newspaper issues at this time I'm seeing images that are there there's a lot of dot com on this information link um, I'm going to try something else. I'm going to try a different approach here. I'm going to keep the ISIS and Iraq header that is on the Google and now I am going to statedepartment.gov and by doing this I can look at a threat assessment for the region under regional security. I'm still continuing to research here. I have a threat assessment on cyber warfare. This is one of the ways that ISIS operates. This is in a PDF format. I am bringing this up. This is what's known as a white paper. This is commonly used by the US military and by colleges and through other institutions and it is also recognized by the US State Department as well in the Department of Homeland Security. What this will do in a government format, this will give all of the current situations that are coming up or that they expect to, to uh, encounter, the intensity, a projection statement, an estimation of what may happen. You can see here um, in the one heading right here where I'm traveling at with the uh, cursor, while we have not seen such attacks from a nation state, that is solely because no state or non-nation state actor has yet seen sufficient strategic advantage to be gained by doing so. And this condition, this condition rather, will not last indefinitely. That looks like a quotation, however, there is not a name or a date to the quotation. Uh, that would have to be researched uh, further into this white paper. This white paper, from what I'm seeing here and from the information that's being uh, distributed here, is a paper that I would read, I would research, I would continue to hold on to this. Um, there is emphasis here on other regional threats on a global scale. It's addressing North Korea. It's addressing further issues deeper into Iran as well as Iraq. 
it's almost talking about a mercenary situation too additionally specialist for hire um, from failing states yes that would explain some of the situations with the insurgency and the current guerrilla forces that's in the Ukraine a lot of people don't realize when they begin to research this they go into one subject they begin to study this one subject they begin to try to find out what they can they start realizing that not only are they looking at a global or regional situation but they soon find themselves uh, involved with tracing loop clusters how one supports the other how they feed off of each other why they're there so this is just an example right here of one page now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom of this white paper to determine if I can find an author I do have some quotations that I have encountered right here apparently from the UN Charter that is one citation there is a, another uh, interview source here from the military doctrine of RF Moscow Krasny Voin and it's talking about some of our homeland defense systems such as the FBI's most wanted terrorist it conducts further into an interview through another source as I said I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna see if I can find the author of this paper or authors and see if I can find a site works link and apparently there's quite a few here um, according to the information on the index at the end of this white paper the total count stops at 93 the sad part is this paper was written in 2005 so that tells me that this information is slightly outdated however it could be a good comparison for the situation state right now with what was going on in 2005 and what we're actually seeing in 2014 to see if those estimations and projections were correct and what else might need to be done to eradicate the problem now I'm I've keyed out and I'm going back in again for historical elements I'm going to type in to try to establish a chronological path of the ISIS regime to see if I can find reference on how long they've existed it doesn't seem to be a lot of historical information dating immediately within the last 10 years 20 years uh, possibly the white paper that I used earlier would be able to give a little bit more light on that uh, possibly through some of those links if I did a cut copy paste I might be able to track into those links but then I would spend more time um, reading essays or formulas or briefs there is another method and no it stopped me I was going into a historical timetable through a different approach to see if past events could be tied into current events or how they may have worked their way up to this time when I run into situations like this I start looking at other approaches on the uh, on the sidebar there to see if there's anything else available this isn't looking promising I will go out I don't completely rely on media resources 
such as news broadcast, Associated Press, or anything else. Certain reasons for that. Um, a lot of these news agencies, they have to protect their reporters in the fields. They have to protect people with information that needs to be separate information that shouldn't be destroyed to the public. So now I'm going to try to use a separate as party affiliation search to see who all else in the year 2014 is part of their known or possibly associated regime states. There's a lot of dot .com in here. There is not a lot of dot .org. There is not a lot of dot .net. That tells me there's very little that's being known about them from inside the field. Let me try one last search. When you run into a stumble uh, dealing with issues like this, you can try to use a topic title that was most common in the media within the last three years. So I'm going to type in Arab Spring Uprisings and I'm going to type it in under 2011 through 2014. And we're going to see if we can locate them that way. Here's one that seems to be a little bit interesting. Uh, after 2011 uprisings, generals regain power across the Arab, and I'm wanting to say that would most likely be nations. What I'm doing now is looking for other citations or links that can support the white paper information that was written. This is another chronological path because the end paper showed 2005, 2001, and 2005 respectively. Now this is a 2011. And right away, uh, one of the first people that uh, we see on the uh, screen in front of us um, just happens to be part of the Iraqi military. It gives a little bit more information on the breakdown of each nation. It covers them in a regional format. It explains how religion and politics are intertwined or how they have a similarity. So now this is another piece of a chronological path that I can use to support up to the current state. Now I'm going to the bottom and I'm going to see if there is a citation link for a media release. And I have encountered other links as well that may be able to push additional information. It really doesn't give a lot of information on the story as to who the author is or when it was written. Um, it does have a date of August 4th, 2014 at 3.37 p.m., but it seems like there has been a lot of postings through uh, mutual social media, which is another thing I despise simply because it's not accurate, it's opinionated, uh, stories get mi mixed up or confused, information is, is misdirected or misrepresented. According to the picture here that was provided, it's being credited or cited by Reuters. It will not permit me to bring it up. The story is by Shadi Hamid. But that may just be the photograph, that may not be act the actual writing itself. This is a 
particular page that I would have to save into favorites and then come back for it and research it at another point in time but for now it's giving me supporting information that I need for a chronological timeline so that I could theoretically put a scenario together about just exactly how long this problem's been going on for those that aren't aware. <laughs>